Hi, I'm Scott St. Germain with Telos Animal Health, here today to introduce you to ZBioVet Probiotic Cleaner. Many hospitals are using disinfectants clinic-wide in an effort to reduce odors, eliminate pathogens, and to provide a safer environment in which we work. Many aren't aware that you must clean with soap and water before using disinfectants in accordance with the product's own directions for use. Even disinfectants that are combined with cleaners still require cleaning with soap and water before use. ZBioVet is a revolutionary cleaning product that uses billions of safe, beneficial probiotic bacteria to clean surfaces while also starving out unwanted harmful pathogen bacteria. This process is known as competitive exclusion. Competitive exclusion is the scientific principle that two species that compete for the same resources cannot coexist. ZBioVet continues to work on surfaces for up to three days, even when dry and has motility to get into the most difficult spaces to clean, none of which disinfectants can do. ZBioVet is also pH neutral, so it is safe to use on all moisture tolerant surfaces, whereas leading disinfectants can have a pH as low as 2 or as high as 12, causing corrosion on surfaces and equipment due to its oxidative nature or basic level. The result is an environment that is cleaner, healthier, and safer for both the clinic's patients and staff. ZBioVet also provides a unique ongoing protection for pathogen reformation on clinic surfaces, keeping it safer for longer, all at a competitive cost. What you will see next is a competitive challenge for cleaning surfaces measured objectively with an ATP luminometer. All organic material and living cells generate ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate found in the Krebs cycle. Using this swab, we will test surfaces for the presence of ATP. After cracking this chamber, which contains luciferase, any ATP on the swab will bioilluminate and register between 0 and 10,000 on this luminometer. We're here today at a local general veterinary hospital to do a competitive challenge cleaning their surgery table. We are going to challenge ZBioVet Probiotic Cleaner, a quaternary ammonium, which is in, used in-house today, and an accelerated hydrogen peroxide. To get started, we're going to measure this table objectively using our ATP luminometer. And I'm going to start by swabbing this surface. We're going to swab in kind of a crosshatch pattern, about two inches by two inches. And we really want to be forceful, make sure you pick up any material on that table. I'm going to crack the chamber that contains luciferase and squeeze this, making sure it gets down on the swab. I'm going to spend about five seconds just making sure that swab is fully coated. I'm going to insert it into my luminometer. Hit OK. And it takes about 15 seconds to get your results. And the result is 1227 measured in relative light units. Next, we're, we're going to remove the old swab and test the center section. And crack the chamber. Put it into my luminometer. I hit OK and wait 15 seconds. And this part of the table measured 1745 relative light units. Now I'm going to remove the swab and add another swab to test this part of the table. I'm going to crack the chamber with luciferase. Make sure it's on my swab for about five seconds. Add it to the luminometer, hit OK, and we're going to wait 15 seconds. So the bottom end of the table ended up at 1939 relative light units. So next I'm going to remove this swab and then we're going to go ahead and start cleaning. Okay, we're going to start cleaning and if you notice I have a new microfiber towel for each section that we're going to clean. I also have a timer here because the uh, accelerated hydrogen peroxide and the quaternary ammonium take about five minutes or at least a five minute dwell time. We're going to start with the hydrogen peroxide, get it nice and wet. Then we're going to go to the quaternary ammonium.
Okay, we're, um, we're about four and a half minutes, and um, this had to sit for five minutes due to the dwell time according to the directions for use. Uh, this, the probiotic cleaner does not have a dwell time, so I will go ahead and clean that as we're wet letting this sit. Okay, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and just clean this spot with the probiotic cleaner. And now we're over five minutes here, so we're going to clean up the quad. And then the accelerated hydrogen peroxide. All right, next we're going to go ahead and test these again. And we'll start with the hydrogen peroxide. And we'll wait 15 seconds. 323 relative light units. So we're down from 1939 down to 323. So next we'll test the quaternary ammonium. And place it into our aluminometer and wait 15 seconds. Now we're down to 301 relative light units, and we're down from uh, 1745 to 301. So we're going to change out our swab and test where we cleaned with the probiotic cleaner. And we'll wait our 15 seconds. So we're down from 1227 to 37. So we're back in the surgery room again. We're about an hour out from the last time we did our ATP testing. Um, we're going to test just in that circle in a small area and where we cleaned with the uh, quat and the hydrogen peroxide. We expect because ZBioVet continues to work for up to three days, even when dry, we expect that our numbers from 37, which was our lowest that we measured on the table an hour ago, that that number is going to go down. Uh, because disinfectants do not continue to work after they're dry, I expect that this 301 where the quat was used is going to go up and as well with the hydrogen peroxide where we clean there, uh, that number was 339 and we expect that number to go up. Okay, we're going to start with the Z-BioVet side. Thirty-two. So we're down five points from thirty-seven. Okay, next we'll move to the quat. The quaternary ammonium size was 301 last time we measured it an hour ago. We're at 572. So it was 301, we're up to 572 an hour later. And we'll move to the hydrogen peroxide. And we're, we were at 339, we are now at 646 an hour later. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and strip off these dividers. And we're going to clean the whole table with the Z-BioVet and measure one last time. So I'm just going to clean this table one last time with the Z-BioVet before we leave. I'm going to use a new microfiber and just soak the table down. Again, it does not require a dwell time, so once you get it good and wet, you can wipe it up immediately. All right, so we're ready to test again. Two. 